Hey there, everybody. So Marilee's really been loving this little embroidered dress she found at Abel's the other day. We found another dress at Abel's yesterday that I want to get your opinion on because I have mixed feelings about it and I had a thought and I want to see if you get the same thought. So let's put it on. And tell me what you think. I'll tell you what I think in just a second. Welcome back to another beautiful day here in the town of Lorien in Animal Crossing New Leaf. We're here with Mayor Marilee in her fancy new dress, which, guys, I don't know if you got this vibe, but I'm seeing window curtains. And I can't unsee it. <laughs> Let me know if you got that same vibe. Too funny. Okay, we're going to check our mail. And we have a new resident moved into town today. Isabel just reminded us. So we're going to go and welcome them to Lorien. Oh, we have something from the post office. We've been putting our bells in. To commemorate saving 100,000 bells, please accept this box of tissues with our deepest and most excited congratulations. We hope you will enjoy. Cool, so that's our first milestone gift. We're working our way up to 500,000 because I think that that is when we get the cool little letter set. Okay, my dear Mary Lee, you might think I would be embarrassed by my messy handwriting, but in this day and age, it's outweighed by how impressed I am that I still handwrite my letters from Meticulous Alley. Okay, thank you, Alley. We've actually, we've been getting, uh, we've been getting a letter from one of our villagers every day, so I think we're starting to, we're, we're starting to make friends in here. All right, let's go check it out. I was running around in here last night and I saw the plot. So I know that our new resident moved in right where Harry moved out, maybe a little bit further back. But um, if you saw the last episode, then you know who's here already because they showed up in our campsite. And guys, I'm just going to let you know that we have a lot of weeds around because... Uh, weeding day is coming up at the end of April, so I've been leaving all the weeds, so we maybe have something to do that day. We probably won't have enough <laughs> to do... I don't really know, because I've never played the event. I just know we need some weeds, so we're having some weeds. Punchy, welcome to Lorien. Hey, Mary Lee, it's me, Punchy. You asked me to move here, so here I am. I really want to explore the town and meet people, but I have to unpack first. Let's hang out tomorrow instead, Marilee. Okay, cool, Punchy. Cute wallpaper. I'm pretty sure that's the wallpaper we put in his vacation home on New Horizons. <laughs> so that's pretty funny. Okay, so guys, oh no, our little bush didn't grow there. It let us plant it there. Well, our our first street light is in, and it let me plant the bush there yesterday, but it didn't grow, so it might not, we might not be able to put that back on the corner. Oh, no. Well, maybe we can try one, like, in this spot. Wait, there's, like, one, two spots. Hmm, I don't know. We might not be able to put one back in the front. Maybe we'll have to put another one in the back. We'll have to figure that out. I might try it one more time just to see if we can get it to grow. We do need to put in our second street light today, which is going to remove this bush probably. So let's move these flowers. But I was going to say, we've spent so much of our time over the last few weeks in this game going to dream addresses and visiting friends and playing games at Tortimer's Island that I almost don't know what to do with myself today. <laughs> we don't know. We're going to be here at home by ourselves for a while. Until until they get that pretendo working for New Leaf. And then maybe we'll try that out. we got to water some flowers though. We have some things that we need to empty from our little basket down on the dock. And we actually do want to plant an orchard. We've got another orchard to plant over here to the right of Reese's. This area here, we want to turn into a little orchard. So it's easy to gather up that fruit and sell it right there. When we need some bells, which is going to be always. <laughs> um, it's a bit of a mess around here. Like I said, we had a lot going on the last few weeks. People coming and going and doing stuff and things and just our storage is completely full. <laughs> and 
yeah, there's stuff everywhere. So try to ignore that for now. We're just gonna... We're just gonna go on about our day. Thankfully, we didn't lose too many of our flowers over that time when we were kind of neglecting them a little bit. Our, our yard is looking pretty over here with all our purple. Let's see if we can get this balloon. Balloon, where are you? Where is it? There it is. Oh no, wait! <laughs> I thought I switched to the... Oh, do we not have our slingshot with us? Oh no. I might have left it somewhere. Oopsie. I think I know where it is. Oh, Allie. Hello. Yeah, we've been kind of neglecting our villagers too, so we need to talk to them. You've got to help me, M girl. I've been looking everywhere for a spider. Okay, Allie. We have a spider, but it's for blathers. <laughs> They're so trendy right now. The issue of Chic Alligator Monthly says so, Tulip. You have one, don't you? Would you trade it to me for my lovely wall? Fine. We'll do it, Allie. Blathers will not be sad <laughs> to not have a spider. It's so hard to stay on trend these days. Let's make the trade. We'll be able to catch another spider for Blathers. It'll be okay. I didn't even... I didn't even mean to catch the spider. I wasn't bug hunting or anything. Uh, I don't even remember why did I shake the tree? I think it was a fruit tree and when I shook the fruit tree the spider came down too. So I picked up the fruit and then I caught the spider. Otherwise I wouldn't have been shaking trees. I just haven't been taking the time to do that. So we have a bunch of just stuff out of our storage over here that we cleaned out to make room for some other stuff that we picked up over in Moriland. You guys, we've been gifted with so many nice things over the last few weeks and I feel a little bad because we did, we, our town is so new we just didn't have anything cool to gift in return. But I did find a few of the amiibo figures and I was able to call up uh, some RVs for a few people to come and get the in-game 3DS item and the in-game Wii U item. So... I did my best to pay, to pay, pay back the gifting a little bit before um, before the visits went away. Uh, but we can we can call those up anytime now. We got Reese and Cyrus and Cap'n and Mabel. And I also realized that you can use the Sanrio amiibo. For the campsite as well so I have the Sanrio amiibo and that means that we'll be able to finish up the Hello Kitty set <laughs> that we have a few pieces of that that were a gift from Mori the first time we went over to visit or he came here to visit yeah I think he brought him over here Ooh, let's stop in and get a coffee we're trying to work our way up to getting a job here Hey, Lyman's in here, and he's wearing our shirt design. <laughs> Fun. Hey, you, do you remember when you first started drinking coffee? When was that? Uh, a long time ago. What? A long time ago? You must have been really young. A baby. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Lyman. I'll take that as a compliment. You're amazing, Mary Lee. You always make your mark sooner than everybody else. Okay. <laughs> well, we're going to have some coffee now. Okay. 200 bells a cup, we'll take one. I wonder if the, how, how you get the villagers to tell you how they like their coffee. We're going to have to start writing this down. Because I think it's something that we have to know, from what I understand, when we get a job here. We're going to be on task. Alright, thanks. And I know you can look it up on Google. But what fun is that? <laughs> What a happy moment. I feel like my entire body is being enveloped by the scent of the coffee. Cool. You can also make use of the counter on the right if you like. I offer takeout coffee there. Come back tomorrow to start getting to-go cups. Cool. So we've unlocked something new there. I think this is... Maybe our third or fourth cup of coffee here? I don't know, it hasn't been open that long and we haven't been... Mocha beans are the best. Okay, we gotta remember this about Lyman. He likes the mocha. We, we need to start a list. Okay, I wrote that down. <laughs> All right, 
Let's see here. I guess we could see what Harv has today. We haven't called, we are gonna call up some of those campers I mentioned at some point, the RVs. Oh, that's cool, like a little uh, wooden rug type thing. <laughs> we don't need it right now. We've gotta make room in our house, which is another reason. So we're, we're trying to get up to the 500, oh, Red is here today. We're trying to get up to the 500,000 bells in the bank. Oh wait, what time does he open? At 10 a.m. So we got like 10 minutes. Okay, well that'll give us time to get down here and get our stuff out of the basket. Oops, I'm <laughs> going the wrong way. And get our stuff from the basket. I think some of it is gonna be for blathers. I'm not 100% sure how much of it. But we saved him some bugs. We got some fun bugs last time we were over there. And I don't know how many of these we'll be able to fit. Just all of them, okay. <laughs> Perfect, we had the exact right amount of room. Let's move that over. And we can get these fossils assessed while we go up there and talk to them too. And I don't know if the shops are open yet. They might not be either, or at least not all of them, if they open at 10, because we have the night ordinance turned on so that uh, I can still shop on the days that I don't get to this until later in the day. Okay. Oh, we'll go to the museum first. Get some room in our pockets. We've been getting most of our fossils back too since we have so many now, which is nice for our bell situation. Assess a fossil, please. We have two so far. I'm sure we have one more around town somewhere. I never seem to be able to find all three of them before I get up here though. All right, our museum already has these on display so we get to sell them, yay. Blathers, we have some donations, I think. At least the stick bug should be new. Oh yeah, we got four new ones. Hermit crab, the walking stick, the fruit beetle, and the giant stag. Oh, have I already given him a wharf roach? I didn't even think I caught one before. Those things are fast. <laughs> we'll gladly take these off your hands. No need for you to pull them out. Okay. Nope, we're good. We're gonna go check out the bug display though. Cause we haven't been in here in a while and we now have a fair amount of bugs. Oh, they put the hermit crab over here. Interesting. There's a little wharf roach. There's a dung beetle. We have a dung beetle? I guess we did start in the snow, didn't we? <laughs> cool, all the little butterflies flying around. Oh, we got a little honeybee in here. Oh, and a mole cricket. <laughs> he popped right up there. Okay, cool. We've got some bugs fighting it out on the stump there. There's a praying mantis. Okay, we've kind of caught more bugs than I realized we've caught. Got a jewel beetle over here. Stag beetles, there's, wow, okay. We're doing really good on the bugs, I didn't realize. I didn't think we had that many. There's the walking stick. Well, good for us. <laughs> I always love finding out that I'm doing better than I thought I was. Ooh, there's that cyclomatous stag and our little centipede friend. We've got the fly in here. Yeah, we've caught quite a few, haven't we? Oh, there's a flea jumping around. Okay. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, good progress, but we do have summer coming, so there's still plenty more to catch. All right, let's go check the shops. Oops, <laughs> going the wrong way. This is really a good size museum. Always fun to look around. Oh my gosh, you guys, I just had a thought. Have you ever seen Gone with the Wind? You know how Scarlett O'Hara actually makes like that whole dress out of the curtains? <laughs> That's what I feel like. We're doing a Scarlett O'Hara here. We've got the curtain dress on. <laughs> it's too funny. Okay, I guess nothing else opens till 10 either. So how close are we? Four minutes away. All right, we'll come back. Wait, who's this? Cobb. Didn't he move out a while ago? Hey, I'm Mary Lee. I'm pumped about shopping today. And here's Annalisa. I think she was the first one to leave Lorian. Fancy seeing you here, Mary Lee. I'm so glad I ran into you. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Yeah, I'm gonna clean. <laughs> I'm gonna clean up some of these items at some point. What even is this? A picnic table. I think one of the villagers gave that to me. Uh, we really need to check in on our villagers. We've been, <laughs> we've been so neglectful. So, so neglectful. Okay, we do have a, a couple. These are some gifts over here. The chocolate cake and this fortune cookie were gifts from Jasmine, a viewer that was able to come and visit. And well, I'll have to... Yeah, I'll try to point them out as we come across them so that... Oh, we didn't check this rock. We haven't found our money rock yet today, so let's keep trying to do that. And my my digging aim is still as good as it ever was. <laughs> All right, there's another rock over here. Oh, and we got to see what, what Red has today. Oh, but he wasn't open till 10. Okay, so much to do. <laughs> I thought we were doing good getting in here at 930 um, to have things ready to go, but... I don't know. I'm trying to decide if maybe I need to switch to the morning ordinance because it does seem like I've been here in the morning lately more than in the evening. Tutu's out playing. Cole's house was there. But yeah, you can see we have quite a few weeds around town. It's hard not to pick them, but I'm trying. Sunny mornings just make me want to dance. So how can I help you? Let's chat. The other day I saw a picture of a killifish. It's the most beautiful fish in the world. It's invaded my thoughts. I'm having dreams about it and everything. I really need to get one of my own. And I was hoping that Fishmaster Merrily might be able to catch one for me. What do you say? Sure thing. Thank you, I can't wait. Okay, I don't know how much of a Fishmaster we are, but we'll try, Sky. We'll give it a try. Wait, is Reese's open? Maybe we can at least sell. What do I usually keep in that first envelope? Stationery and I'm out of it? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> anyway, maybe we can at least sell our fossils and extra bugs and fish here before we... Oh, there's two, two. Hello, hello. Pretty morning, right, M girl? What do you want to talk about? Hey there. Is it true there's a new person in town? Have you met? Wait. Is this person cooler than me? Go do some secret spying around and tell me what you find out. Yeah, Tutu, I'm sorry, but they are cooler than you. <laughs> In my opinion, anyway, I have to say. Oh, have we tried this one? Darn. <laughs> okay, Reese is open. Yay. Oh, and there goes the clock chime. So we'll be able to go everywhere else now, too. Cool. All right, we're selling dinosaur bones. We're selling bugs. What is this? A box? Of, oh no, don't sell our box of tissues. What's this wall? The lovely wall. Do we want to keep that? I don't think so. Not at the moment. We have it cataloged if we need it again. I kind of really want to buy this modern wood bed that Deirdre's got in here, but... Um, <laughs> like, it's never a good time to have it in my pocket, you know? I should probably just buy it and sell it right back. But yeah, we've got extra tools sitting over here. We've got fruit sitting everywhere that's waiting to be planted. Oh yeah, okay. We're gonna have to make a list here, guys. Oh, Ward Jr., hello. Tangy, hello. <laughs> Yo, M-Girl, seeing your face. Let's just say I'm ready to start a new day, cool cat. So what's up? This is kind of sudden, but could I come over to your place right now? I want to see how it looks before you clean it up. Come on, man. Let's go see it now, please. How did he know it's not cleaned up? <laughs> we'll go. Wow, you're pretty flexible, huh? Awesome. Let's get going. I'll be right behind you. All right. Well, we probably needed to go in there anyway. Wait, can we stop and hit this rock first? Okay. <laughs> not it. I don't know. I know it's inconvenient, but I do try to have the villagers over when they ask. It's just fun. <laughs> But I was saying before I interrupted myself <laughs> that um, we need to talk to Red. We need to go to the shops. We need to start another public works project. Yeah, we have a whole list. Okay, thanks for making the time to hang out with me, Cool Cat. All right, here's another one of the fun gifts we received from Reb's Cozy Gaming. She brought us this little Cosmo fan, which is super cute. And I believe is one of the items you get from the weeding day situation, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if we're going to be able to earn anything ourselves. I think that was 
kind of a friend visit thing. But um, we also discovered that when you put an ant down in your house, it turns into an ant farm, which is super fun. But this is also probably something we need to take to Blathers. We can't pick it up while our guest is here, though. All right, what do you think, Wart Jr.? Ha! Huh. Or, I mean, I just thought your room would be a bit different than this, is all. You know, I'm kind of relieved now that I see that. Well, what, <laughs> I mean, it's a little bit of a mess right now, Ward Jr., I admit. We have been, just been throwing stuff down as we get it. We have zero organization, we have zero theme, we have zero room to put stuff. <laughs> but we do have this cool Master Sword. Okay, we'll talk to him one more time, and then we gotta get on our list. I don't think you could ever get bored living in a room like this. I certainly wouldn't. Yeah, well, it's true, because you gotta stay alert so you don't trip over stuff. <laughs> okay, come on, Wart Jr., we gotta go. Are you going somewhere? If you are, I might as well head out as well. Okay, we are supposed to be catching a fish for Sky too, aren't we? We'll just... Wait, where, where's our fishing rod? There it is, okay. Okay, now Isabel is going to want to do a ceremony for our street lamp. So let's talk to Red first, and then we'll go talk to Isabel. All right, he's pleased to see us back again. We have a list on our... <laughs> I have a list on my phone of how to tell the reels from the fakes here. So... For one, if this guy is holding a UFO, then it's fake, which I think that's real, but I also, I think we already have that statue. So let's check on this painting. If the woman is looking to the left, she's fake. Okay, so this lady's looking to the right, so that should be real as well. Okay, so this one, if the tips of his fingers are curling upward, then it's genuine. So that one's fake. And that one, I believe we already have. I feel like that's the wild painting. In New Horizons, that comes in two separate paintings. Okay, if dark is on the left and light is on the right, then it's fake. Okay, so those two are fake, and I'm pretty sure these two are real. But I, I'm fairly certain we already bought that statue, so we're going to buy this lady. The graceful painting. We'll take it. I don't think we've ended up with any fake art yet. Unless I'm forgetting. So the guide online is pretty good. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here and go do our ceremony. We still got candy sitting here from Bunny Day. <laughs> I sent a piece of it to Bob in the mail, and he sent back a nice letter saying it was his favorite snack. Okay, what are we doing? We need to go talk to Isabel. Already lost my train of thought. <laughs> Okay, Isabel, let's get this party started. I just remembered the townsfolk would like to hold a ceremony to celebrate completing the street lamp project. Considering you're the one who made all this possible, we want you to attend. What do you say? I'd be happy to. We love ceremonies. Hello everyone! Welcome to the Grand Completion Ceremony for Lorien's Vital Street Lamp Project. Thank you for joining us for this momentous occasion. I'm Isabel and I'll be your host today. Thank you! Thank you! You're too kind. We're going to keep this short and sweet so let's jump right in. First up, we have an incredibly short speech from our very own mayor. Take it away, Mayor Mayor Lee. On to the next project. Well said, Mayor. You have quite a way with words. Okay, moving on. Everybody, please locate that item we passed out earlier and get ready. To celebrate the completion of this public works project and all the hard work that made this possible. Ready, set, pop! Yay! We have a street lamp. That concludes our ceremony. Thanks everyone for all of your hard work and for taking time out of your busy schedules to be here. 
All right, well, that's done. We are going to be changing up the path on this side of the river, I think I decided. So we can probably work out this situation so that we can get another bush in here, maybe in this spot. Because we're gonna we're gonna change it so that this wooden path is only on the left side, and we're gonna have the purple and gray path, like this up here. Where'd it go? <laughs> I have some somewhere. Yeah, like this, on this side of the river. So yeah, we're gonna be reworking all that. But for the moment, how much pocket space do we have? Okay, we're good. Let's run up and see what we can get. And then we'll do our public works. And then we'll put in our other street lamp. Welcome. All right, you got any white azaleas today? It's a holly start. I don't need any holly right now. I haven't really figured out somewhere. Oh, I looked at the same one again. Blue hydrangea. Okay, we'll take that, but it's not what we were looking for. <laughs> we just gotta wait for another white azalea to show up. And I keep forgetting we we can go straight through from leaves into nooks now. Instead of having to go outside. Okay. What do we got today? We got the lullaby here. Got some modern wood. Oh, that's cute. I like that. But it's one of those things where like, are we going to use it inside? Every time I see it, I'm like, oh yeah, we want that. And then I remember that we can't use it outside. <laughs> So that's okay. We're going to catalog this too because I do want to probably have this set in our house at some point. But we're going to sell those back to Tommy. What was this? Oh yeah, our box of tissues. We got to find a spot for that. Okay, 608 bells back. That's all right. And why don't we do a fortune cookie because we have some play coins. Eat the cookie. There was a fortune inside. Sometimes a flower is just a flower unless it causes fires. I think I know what this is going to be. Let's see if we're right. I got a lucky ticket! Number 20! Congratulations! The prize for number 20 is great! A fire flower! I knew it! <laughs> cool. That's a fun one. We didn't have that one yet, so glad to get that one. Let's check out Abel's. I don't know guys, this dress is growing on me a little bit. I still think it looks like curtains though. <laughs> All right, I think we actually already have that dress. We're not looking for long sleeves right now because we're heading into summer pretty soon. Okay, we might still have a little while. We've got a strawberry hat here, a gray hat. Mm, not gonna get either one. Nope, nothing we need here today. All right, this is... I'm just gonna dr run down to the museum and drop off the fire flower in one of our exhibition rooms before we go get our street lamp. It is a total mess up there, you guys, but I'm so glad that we have that space as some extra storage room right now. All right. Let's go get a street lamp. Hmm. Now I'm having second thoughts and third thoughts. Maybe. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments, okay? So we put this around the plaza, which I think is really cool. I love it. So now I'm wondering if we should put the matching path to this on this side of the river 
and keep the wooden path on the right side of the river. Or if we should just mix them both up everywhere and, and just clear the whole thing and start over. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, decisions. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. We're supposed to be getting a street lamp. Hello. Too easily distracted. I don't know what to do with the path. Okay, Isabel. Now, Wart Jr. did add something. Well, I think it was Wart Jr. Maybe it was Lyman. Somebody added something to our list of public works projects we can do, but it was like a traffic light or something, so I don't think it's anything we're gonna put in anytime soon. So evidently they don't go in in the order that people ask for them. Traffic signal, that's what they just asked for. So maybe, I don't know, maybe we can create a little intersection somewhere that needs something like that. <laughs> but right now we need another street lamp to match our other one. Let's do it. And Isabel's gonna follow us over to where we want to put it. We kind of need to change some of the pathing around Reese's area anyway because when we built our little orchard up there we weren't using our noodle. <laughs> All right I think this is kind of the spot where I was standing last time when I told Isabel that this is where I wanted the street lamp. What do you think? That is the right spot, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. It's gonna be hard to wait for all the donations to arrive. Yes, well you may not have to wait as long as you think, but we're not gonna donate to it right this second. Um, unless we have... Yeah, we don't have the full amount yet, so we're gonna wait on that. We did get that even, didn't we? Yes, okay. <laughs> That's good. But yeah, so when I planted these trees here, I planted them right in front of the path, which means the fruit can't fall down right there. And now we've got this fence here. So we may actually just have to take out these lemon trees and like start the orchard here where we've got these and just have it go in all the way back here but we do want a path through here because this path goes over to the beach where we gather up the seashells for selling and other things so we definitely <laughs> yeah we have some work let's see if we have an axe here we do and it's not in very good shape oh no But we'll go ahead and take some of these down. We have enough lemons to plant some more, so it'll be okay. Oh no, it's got a shape in it. <laughs> all right, these lemons are pretty much just all gonna disappear. Oh, we got two of them, okay. And another shape. Well, you know what? Maybe we will incorporate these into the design over here. Oh, there goes our ax. Was there one in the shop today? Let's go check. I mean, don't follow the path or anything. I guess you probably learn at some point not to be so sentimental about these special stumps, <laughs> but I still am right now. Oh no, he doesn't have an ax today, just a watering can. And I guess, does Nooks not sell axes then? All right, let me just double check and make sure that we don't have another one. Nope, that's a wetsuit. That's our beans. <laughs> and that's our umbrella. So, nope, we don't, sadly. So we'll have to finish that another day. Well, we can't finish cutting those down right now. However, <laughs> we can, let's see. How do we wanna do this? The ones that go back here are not gonna be able to be symmetrical. 
with the ones that are here because they're a little bit kind of in front of the shop. So they're going to have their own thing going over here. And we do have a rock over here too, so we have to be mindful of that. Oh, that's a pink azalea. I was going to say, wait, we do have an azalea, but that one's pink. We need a white one. <laughs> and I dropped a cabana chair over here and an alpine bed. Yeah, we have all kinds of fun stuff just dropped everywhere <laughs> that needs to be put away. They're just like, guys, for storage is, I'm not even kidding, zero space left. I have stuff <laughs> just kind of shoved everywhere. Like I've got piles of stuff over here because I figure no one comes over here. Or no one will be anymore anyway. Not for a while. Let's fill in. We haven't found our money rock yet, have we? I wonder which one it is because I don't even know which ones I haven't hit now. We'll plant these roses up here. Just trying to get that ever needed room in our pockets. Did we hit this rock yet? Let's see, there's one right here. That's not it. And then this one. I think we already hit the one by Allie's house. Oh, here we go. Nice. And yesterday when I hit the rock, I got all eight bells out of it. Oh, we only got seven today. <laughs> Too slow. Oh, we have lots of room. Okay, let's, let's just get it all. Fill in our holes. Okay, gather that up. We're getting close to having enough for that street lamp. I think it's 39,800, something like that. Um, oh, you know what, guys? We're just not even going to be able to finish this orchard today because I got to cut down these trees, too. And we can't start planting out our new trees until we can get these old trees out of the way. Okay, well, plan B or C or G, whichever letter we're on for today. <laughs> Hey, I'm a girl. I've been thinking I want to spread the good word about our town elsewhere. And I can do that by moving away. Yeah, by leaving Lorien. I can make it more famous. I'm going to leave on the 21st of this month. Okay, Tutu. Okay, thanks for understanding, M girl. It's really going to be good for me. All right, well, that's fine. So I'm finding this very interesting, too, about New Leaf, because... We only have- Punchy just moved in, and he is the ninth villager right now. So, we had ten villagers, and then Cole moved out, and then before anyone else could move in, Harry moved out, and I didn't even know that two villagers could move out at the same time, and we were down to eight, and then we got Punchy in the campsite, and he came, so we're up to nine again, and now we got somebody leaving again. So, is that normal? <laughs> I mean, I guess it is, but um, we're, we're, we need a 10th villager. All right, let's go sell some seashells, I guess. We'll make some bells and try to get this street lamp paid off so that we can get that done. And Okay, and I just, <laughs> I just remembered... That we're supposed to be catching a killifish for Sky. So let's go over to the river. Is it in the river here or are they in the ponds here? I have no idea. So, so many of those fish changed between the older games and New Horizons. <laughs> I know in the... Wait, in New Horizons, the killifish are in the ponds, right? I can't get this bait even in the pond. Here we go. Did she tell us when she asked us for it where we find it? I caught a killifish. Maybe I'll put it in a chili dish. Probably not. <laughs> okay. 
All right, well, we've got one for Skye then, so let's go find her and give that to her. And then maybe we can catch another one for Blathers. There's probably quite a few fish that we haven't caught yet, to be honest. Skye, we have a present for you. What are you up to today? It's a great day to just walk around Lorien and take in the scenery. What's on your mind? Here's a fish. A teeny tiny little killifish. Oh, thank you. Look at how healthy and energetic it is. Well, you better put it in some water. It's not going to stay that way. Of course, I can't let you go without expressing my gratitude. It's a red zap suit. I know you're busy, so thank you again for taking time out for me. Okay, we got to check this out now. Okay, pretty cute, but we're going to keep our dress on. <laughs> Maybe somebody else will want the red zap suit. Have we checked in with Bob today? I have Bob on my socks today. <laughs> I'm thinking it might be time to open up that time capsule. Okay, would you mind digging it up for me and bringing it over, Bell M, please? We'll go get it, Bob. Yeah, Bob gave us a time capsule the other day, which is another thing because um, I believe that we have more than one villager that has a time capsule right now. Oh, Ward yeah. Jr. wasn't trying to talk to you, but we will. Man, I'm really sleepy today, cool cat. Did you need something? Yeah, I just need to dig up this time capsule. <laughs> Say, since you've got that shovel in your hand, are you out hitting rocks or something? Hitting rocks? You really don't know what I'm talking about? We totally do. If you hit rocks with your shovel every so often, you'll get bells or find some rare ore. You should give it a try. Yes, we have... <laughs> oh my goodness. You guys, can you find somewhere else to be? <laughs> it's as bad as New Horizons when you try to build a path. Okay, let's <laughs> fill in our holes here. Here we go. Let's find out what Bob had hidden away in his time capsule. You got some interesting decor here, Bob, I have to say. Did you need something? Capsule time! Woohoo! It's so good to see my time capsule again! I can't even remember what I put in here! It's time to peek inside! I put a jade plaid shirt in there? Wow, I totally forgot about that! And there's a letter in here! I totally forgot about that too! <laughs> to future Bob, I got this in a goodie bag at a party, but it's not really my style. But by the time you get this, it'll be all vintage and cool. I hope so, anyway. Sincerely, past me. This is great stuff. Past me definitely had a way with words. As my way of saying thanks, have this, Bell M. Is he gonna give us the shirt he just pulled out of the time capsule? It's a jade plaid shirt. How did I know? Next time I bury a time capsule, I'll let you know, cool cat. Alright, let's see what this one looks like. Okay, that's another one we're gonna send on its way. <laughs> okay. Bye, Bob. I don't see a killifish in that pond. Okay, everyone, we're going to call it for today. I think we finished everything on our list except for the orchard, which we have got to get another axe to finish. So we'll work on doing that for the next episode. And maybe I'll play around with the path in the meantime. But thank you so much for being here today to hang out with me and Mary Lee and get a few things done around the town. Please take a moment, if you would, and click the like button. And if you're enjoying this nostalgic Animal Crossing, go ahead and click subscribe as well. So you can join us for the next one. I'll see you there, friends. Have a beautiful day.